Hey, what's up, fellow high-level people? I've been getting asked a lot lately to do some more recent case studies on clients that I use GHL meets SEO for, and so today I'm going to do exactly that. We have a new client site that's been indexing for about 30 days, so I was going to go in and do some of my initial reporting to kind of see what's happening with the website, so I figured I'd share it live here with everybody today. So first, we'll go over the website a little bit and all the pages we already have built. It's for HoustonEngines.com, which is a used and remanufactured engine transmission drivetrain company in Texas. And for any of you familiar with my course and my templates, you're probably going to notice that this structure looks completely different than the template in the course. And this has been the toughest part to get people to kind of grasp about the course and the templates. It is set up to just follow along and use my exact template to get customized for your clients or for your own business. But the SEO that's taught in the course and the overall website structure and the concepts should be and could be applied to any website. So the design is not necessarily the important parts of what's going to get the pages to rank. Does it play a role in leads and conversions? Yes. Is an appealing design that makes sense important? Yes, but it's not directly linked to what's actually going to get these pages to rank. So if you can grasp the concepts of the course and some of the core SEO components and the structure of the website as a whole, you can apply these concepts to any of your existing high-level websites or websites built on any platform. SEO is a concept. And so that's another reason why I wanted to share a little bit more about this site to show you how we take this same concept and structure but customize it a little bit for our clients. And I thought this would be the perfect example. So as you can see here, we still got a home page just like the main template. Instead of our three service pages here, like we typically have, these are just parts pages. So instead of service, one, two, three, now we have our main parts, one, two, and three. And we even have subcategories for used and remanufactured. So we filled out these pages in place of the service pages in the template. We're still using the service areas or location pages here. We've got about nine of them built out so far. We've got three total blog articles about us and contact us. And then we also made a warranties and refunds and returns page that were custom for this specific client. And one of the biggest factors here that's gotten this website ranking for so many keywords so quickly, which we'll get into momentarily, we'll go over the stats and what it's ranking for in the first 30 days, but it's the fact that it's more content heavy. The content is really good and there's just a higher word count of, on all of our pages. So we do apply more content than what's just there as like the filler text and the templates here. A little bit more about why they should choose this company and then some call to action down here, but even more written content. And then we've got a good linking structure in our footer as well. All the important information down here. Then if we go into one of our three main parts pages, see similar structure. We've got different types of engines here that they can start with. This is actually a form that uses API to pull in these as they select different fields. So that was something a little more custom, but that doesn't play a role in SEO. And then here's the content structure for our parts pages. You see good, clear headers, well-structured content, and then frequently asked questions. These are always great to add. And these can allow your websites to rank in structured snippets on the search result page, taking up more of the page when people ask these direct questions. And we also apply FAQ schema to match up these frequently asked questions so that Google has all that information and can quickly display it on the search result pages as these questions are asked and then it's just our contact section again in the footer and then we'll take a look at one of our service area pages so still more more content heavy at the top than, than previously but this probably looks familiar we still use three neighborhoods three things to do three top sites and a city map embed so all of our city pages still include this structure and they, they help the Google My Business profile and the website just rank across a larger area. And we'll go over one more page type. We'll just pick a blog article here to kind of show you this structure. And eventually we're going to be building a blog homepage to just link all of our articles to. But for now we're just adding them as drop downs. But eventually it'll just say blog here with no drop down. And that page will link to all of our articles as we go. 
So now we'll jump into Google Search Console and take a look at some of the keywords this website's already ranking for. So you can see HoustonEngines.com here. It's been indexing for just a little over a month, maybe a month and a week or so. You see we already have 1,500 impressions. We're already getting clicks. Our average position isn't too high. And if we come down to the keywords, these are really good keywords for this, this website, used engines near me, used engines in Houston, Texas. I mean, these keywords are right on point and exactly what we're trying to offer. And we're already ranking for a lot of them as well. So great keywords. This is the stuff I love to see. And let's get a total on how many total keywords we're already indexing for. So 138, and they all seem to be very relevant to exactly what we're trying to offer. So this is great to see. It's a direct result of the website having more written content than just our standard template. Let's take a look at how many pages are indexing already. So a total of 15 pages. We have two that are not currently indexed. But let's dig into the ones that are indexing for now. So we can see some of our location pages, some of our main parts pages. And these actually just started indexing. I just submitted these a few days ago. So awesome. We got a lot of city pages already ranking. As you can see, Humble, Aldean, Spring, Houston, Bel Air, Cyprus, Sugarland. So I think like six out of our nine city pages are already indexing, and we just included three more. So those will probably take a little bit of time to pick up, and they could be two of those pages that aren't currently indexing yet. But so that's looking good. That's awesome. So real quick, let's just go back to performance. I want to touch on a few more things here. One of the, the questions I get asked most often is how long does this take? Like when can we expect leads or results or, you know, how long does it take to set up? How long does it take to get results using something like GHL meets SEO? And to answer that quickly, for the first time setting up the website using my template in my course, Usually it takes people anywhere from one week to two weeks, kind of following along the content. It just depends on how much you dedicate to it. And then for the first site to get leads, it might take 60, 90 days. And that's still relatively quick for SEO and organic. That's, that's actually not terrible. The organic methods are always going to take more time to really see results from. But this should give you a really good idea of how quickly things can take off when the whole website is structured properly. It's got a good amount of content. And the four kind of core SEO components are in place for every page, exactly like I show it in the course. So results can be much quicker, but for most people, it's going to be about three to six months before they start getting some good leads and really start indexing and getting some impressions. But this website is truly a great example of how well things can go when you're persistent and you continue learning and continue setting up the websites and making each one a little bit better than the last. And so here's an overview of the client's dashboard for Houston Engines. Let's see from July 14th through August 22nd, a little over 30 days, he's gotten 32 leads already. And these are all 100% organic. And if we scroll down and look at the lead source report, now we'll be transparent. 13 of those leads have came from a previous Google My Business that the client had set up. So we're not taking credit for these. We're just bringing them into the system. But the rest of these are all from the, the website, Organic Leads. So we've generated about 19 leads already just in the first 30 days from the website alone. And the last thing I'll show really quick is kind of like our website structure and content plan here. It's going to look very similar to the GHL Meets SEO template. We've got our home page. We've got our first three cities, privacy policy, thank you, you know, the standard pages contact about, we've got our first blog article. These three parts pages took the place of our service pages, but they still serve a similar purpose. And then there's the warranties, privacy policy, stuff like that. But then this is our ongoing content plan. So we're doing 12 pages for this client every single month. And we're producing between three and six new cities every month. So you can see here the next batch of city pages. Then we're including three new parts pages each month in place of additional services. And then we're adding a couple of blog articles each month. So we're adding a mix of 12 pages, but it's still the same three types of pages that you can clone and scale with GHL meets SEO. It's city pages, it's service pages, in this case parts pages, and then blog articles. And you can see we've already got this month's next 12 pages laid out. We've got to pick three new parts, three new articles, and a couple new cities. 
but this is every single month and it'll scale this website extremely fast and it's just going to scale our, our rankings as well. Alright, so this site's doing great very quickly to all be organic. Now I will say this is not typical for everybody. This is kind of best case scenario for organic, but it's still a great case study that I wanted to share with you guys to let you know that it is possible. If you stick with it and continue to learn SEO and are able to apply it as a concept to your websites and not just following my exact template all the way through, that's perfectly fine and it'll still rank really well. But mix in some creativity and some different designs and stuff. Add some additional content. Take it to that next step and continue learning and making each site a little bit better. And one day you'll have results like this as well. And there's one more question I'm asked a lot is like how much off-page SEO did you do for this website? Did you do backlinks, citations, uh, guest posts, anything like that? And for this client specifically, all we did off-page was create that one batch of 35 to 75 citations and that was it. We don't have a Google My Business yet for this website. We haven't done any backlinks or anything other than our on-page, producing 12 pages per month, and then one batch of citations. And that's absolutely it. And so I just wanted to do this case study today to show you guys this is still the exact same system and structure I use for my SEO clients today. And to prove that you can get really great organic results quickly with the right structure and the right amount of content. So stay tuned for more from GHL Meets SEO. And don't forget that GHL Meets Google Ads is coming out next month in September. And last but not least, if you would like these SEO services or Google Ads services done for you for your own business, or you'd like to partner up with these services as an agency, definitely check out my SaaS agency, customers.plus, where we can fulfill all of these services for you. So it's literally customers.plus. And you can find all of our additional services along with pricing linked in the footer under the additional services page. So if you'd like any of these done for you, feel free to reach out at customers.plus. Until next time.